champion. Welcome back to Explosion. Now well, don't adjust your sets. I don't even know if that's possible in this day and age. Well, if you have a remote, you mean adjusting your set? Yeah, yeah, but you know when you're a kid, you go up and adjust the, the settings on your TV. You can't do that anymore. I didn't have a TV. Yeah, but I know you grew up in a Red Hook. Ah, boys, you're hearing. This three-time world heavyweight champion, Taz. I am Josh Matthews. And we are in store for some incredible action here. Is that the selfie cam? Yeah, I just picked one up. You got a selfie cam? Yeah, from Rocco.com. Yeah, no, yeah, I got one. Technique is awesome. Hey, Mr. Intensity in the house! Just gonna say, one intense dude is Gunner. Would yeah. not want to be in an alley. Look at this man. No, but I wouldn't mind being in a foxhole with him on my side. So that's the guy you want. You want a fella like Gunna watching your back. Now opposing him in that said dark alley, eh, not a good idea. Earlier today, you and I had a conversation. I asked you about some of the wrestlers here on the roster. Yes, you did, Josh. You had high praise for Gunner. Big fan of Gunner as a person and as a professional and as an athlete. That might, uh, night, might not be a good idea. He looked like Gunner wanted to grab the selfie rod. <laughs> rod. <laughs> selfie stick. Rod. Jesse Gatters was on your favorite TV show. Tell me the show. I'm a big fan yeah, of Big Brother. Big Brother. <laughs> Every summer. At the Taz household, the compound. We got the compound. We all watch Big Brother. We'll sit around. Yep. Oh! Look at Gunner, man. Again, we talked about the Mr. Intensity. That's him. Through and through. Not just a moniker, he lives it. There's a difference between oh, being quick and fast. There's also a difference between being smart and not so smart. I don't know about DJ Z getting involved here. I do like the haircut of DJ Z. Gotta got a rainbow bright thing and all, mobile home type of thing. Rainbow bright. Oh! Grabbing the throat, Gunner, slamming. First cover of the match. The physique on Gunner. Look at DJ Z. Look at the physique on him. DJ Z. Well, that's Mr. Pectacular right there, Jesse Goddard. And Jesse, tremendous standing drop kick there. He possesses a tremendous drop kick. Jesse Goddard is in control. Can Gunner get back into this? We'll find out when Explosion returns right after this. Taz is working overtime. As we welcome you back to Explosion, Jesse Gotters. Yep. I was about to say one-on-one -on -one with Gunner, but that's not entirely true. DJ Z and Robbie E on the outside make up the other two-thirds of the bromance. Want to tell all of you Explosion fans, you're welcome, that I'm uh, making a guest appearance here. Well, you're welcome. I'm sure that invoice has made its way to Nashville. 18 here, 18 here. Gunner, he's got to have his eyes, head on a swivel, as they say. Oh, and Jesse Goddard takes advantage. Well, it's not like having a yam bag on a swivel. Hey, don't be joking. Don't, don't joke yeah, I don't want to be joking out here. My bad. Sorry. Referee Earl Hebner was uh, distracted. You are good. Hey, hey. You don't just do a tag. They go, boom. She, 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 boom. Boom. Have you ever been invited to hang out with the bromance? All the time. In you, the summer, do you home. go? Uh, you know, I see the, the, the stop by. Yeah, yeah. You know, they got the big beach house in Jersey Shore Robbie E has, so yeah. they invite me to those shindigs they have over there all the time in the summertime, you know? I bring some of my friends over there. And, and uh, we go time and two times, typically twice, twice. Someone has it, you have a Vespa. Excuse me? Vespa. It's like a little scooter. Covered by Jesse. Yeah, I, I collect 
Theos. People don't realize that. I digress. That's cool, though, because you have a two-car garage, and you can fit, like, six of those in there. You have a six-car garage. You've got it backwards, but let's digress. And six look at the, stuff, the selfie. See uh, Jesse there. I don't think he had a shot. Yeah, he's got the selfie rod. Yeah, that <laughs> Right now, That's selfie awesome. rod is trending. <laughs> selfie rod. And Jesse, getting an unfair advantage. I never really understood this, Taz. Explain to me what, what happens there when Robbie grabs the arm of Jesse. It's like a tension rope move, they call it. Like, and Earl Hebner, he's, he's the rigor mortis is sitting in for this guy. He's older than dirt. You know, he's a legend. I got it. So he can't see past maybe three, four inches. Sure, sure. So he can't see the hand grab. Yeah. So Makes that's sense. why he has to stare at the man. <laughs> Do you give up? Do you give up? He thinks he's refing a Ric Flair and Ricky Steamboat match right now. He has no idea what's in this match. Uh, Gunner biting Jesse in. It's that big. And now, uh, good old fashioned abdominal stretch. Look at the power right there, yeah. Pull the party in a costume. You familiar with the Intercostals? Yeah. Right Not right something right on the Grand field. Central Park. I was going to say, it's right by the Verrazano, right? <laughs> no. The Intercostals are the little muscles by your rib cage and your lats, the side of your ribs and your body. You don't have abs like me. You'd be able to see it if you did. You got this! I Ooh, I'm going to leave that one alone. And Gunner showing some great strength here and power. Jesse. Very athletic is Jesse for a man of this size. How do you sound surprised at that? I mean, yeah, yeah, say so. The way, yeah. inflection was a little surprising. You know I'm big in inflection. You know I'm very big. Yeah. <laughs> I know you send out your critique email. I'm sure that I'll get a... We're actually <laughs> on the air, Josh. We're realist. And Jesse. Well, I mean, the referee needs to get involved here. Jesse's got a, a two handfuls of hair. Oh, the referee thinks he's at the Omni in 81. Well, Gunner's all sorts of fired up here. Uh, Jesse may want to try to uh, just get away from Gunner. Oh, yeah, lots of things. Once Gunner starts swinging at the fence before he knocks him down, here he comes. You know, Gunner's certainly a, an individual, a wrestler that I'm putting stock in in the new year. Same for Jesse, but I, I really like that. Gunner. Slingshot shot in the ring. Slingshot suplex shades of the great Tully Blanchett. Pull that move off of the four horsemen. And Gunner wisely puts a stop to Robbie E. Whoa. And there goes DJC. Well, you thought his britches were falling down in uh, midair there. Probably down by his ankles down. Britches. Yeah, it's a little slacks. Short arm reversal there by Gunner. Whoop! Ooh. Version of a Uranagi right there. Just driving the man down as you would maybe refer to a rock bottom. Oh! I call it a bookend. Gunner, psyching himself up. I don't know if this dude needs to be psyched up any yeah, more than he already know. is. Oh! Call it a TKO. Might be it. Call it a victory. The winner of the match, Gunner. Impressive victory there by Gunner. As you and I had some fun in this matchup, Jesse Goddard did not. Neither did Robbie E or DJ Z on the outside. Congratulations to Gunner. Tremendous outing. Tremendous showing by Gunner. Solid victory. Put a couple of those together, and there's no stopping Gunner here. It's in it.